Did you know that water can travel uphill against gravity by its own volition? In this video, I'm going to show you three natural phenomena that occur in the backyard featuring the neighbor Luke. I'm here. What's up, my dudes? Starting off, to explain how water can travel uphill, we'll be showing the siphon effect. To do this, we grabbed a hose. How long is this thing, man? First, we put one end of the hose in the water. For this to work properly, the hose does have to be full of water, but instead of filling it in the pool, we're just gonna run water through it with another hose. It's alive! It's working! Now if we disconnect the hoses, you'll notice that a trickle starts to come out of the hose, meaning that water is traveling up the end of the hose, out of the pool, and down through the rest of the hose. This water will continue to flow out until the entire pool is empty. The reason this effect works is because the end of the hose is at a lower point than the pool itself. And because the water in the bottom portion of the hose is heavier than the water in the top portion of the hose, this water falls out and this creates a lower atmospheric pressure in the top of the hose. And since there can't be a gap in the water, it pulls water out of the pool into the rest of the hose. Fun fact, your toilet does this when you flush and you can also use this effect to siphon gas out of your car. All right, moving on to the next one at the swing set. On a swing, you gain energy by pumping your legs and leaning back. If you're sitting completely still and you lean back, it readjusts your center of gravity and applies a tiny bit of kinetic energy. If you keep chaining this energy, matching the resonant frequency of the swing, it can increase the amplitude and you can get swinging pretty high. In fact, because of this concept, a massive bridge blew down in 1940 because of a mere 35 mile per hour wind. The wind gusts matched the resonant frequency of the bridge, causing it to twist and oscillate and eventually collapse. This can also be demonstrated on a trampoline, where the first jump, you can't jump very high. But if you continue to chain this energy, you can start to jump pretty high. And this brings me to the last concept, the conservation of angular momentum. If you do a backflip with your limbs straight, you don't spin very fast. But if you tuck in your arms and legs, you start to spin really fast. This is because the things further away from your body, like your limbs and your arms, are traveling faster and with more momentum. So if you bring those in, it keeps the same momentum and just makes you spin faster. A really good way to show this is on a spinnable chair, like this. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe.